Ah, hello and welcome to the beach! Morning glory is upon us as war is about to be fought. Let the battle be joined here on Twin Beaches where we got Dexon in the red playing as USF and he is up against Pax to the max Ajax. You know it's true. Why? Because I said so. Anyway, Pax got the Wehrmacht. He's opening up with a Kettengrad along with Foschup's pioneers. Um, or not, he's not going for Foschup's pioneers. Anyway, he's actually uh, opted to go for a, a Grand Squad. And he'll let the kitten do the fast capping. Oh, wow. Did you see that? Down on the minimap. Let's see if I can uh, select another unit here and then the kitten got Pay attention to the minimap here. Here we see. It actually looks like the queued orders now show up correctly. So he's just gonna go up there, take the VP, and then circle around here. Very interesting. And Dexon opening up with engineers so he can get down sandbags right from the get go. But also, he can get down a mine, an early mine to help deal with the Kettengrad. He might want to put it down here on his uh, fuel point, you know as that is a likely point where the Kettengrad will go to harass you. And yes, this is a thing I have noticed uh, Dixon do. He seems to prioritize this munitions point rather than the fuel when playing on this map here. And then he will be back capping uh, the fuel point. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we've got the flank coming up here. Pax is gonna take this green cover here and thus negating this bit of green cover here as cover is directional. Anyway, Kittengrad gives up capping this point here and just goes over here to decap what Dixon has already been working so hard to get. We also have a little bit of fighting up north. That's the Pioneers versus the Scout Squad. Scout Squad will win that one. I am confident that they will and Pax is in just retreats here oh little kitten oh no he went for an early cable upgrade here man does Pax not know that the communications upgrade is bad luck you know you totally jinx your Kittengrad whenever you get the cable upgrade because moments later after the upgrade is in your Kittengrad is likely to be destroyed as it were in this case <laughs> uh. oh, 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 oh hey 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 Dixon he's going for the air support center him and Stefan they are probably the two players who often go for the air support center and now that the uh, anti-air in this game is quite quite literally uh, non-existent there's no stopping these planes i mean there were a guy on youtube who did a little test and he had like what was it 23 or 32 Verbal wins and they couldn't shoot down a, a strafe. Wow. Just wow. He's dead. Leave him. Gonna take him down fast. Coilage launcher is good to go. Could also go for a strafing run here and work his way towards the Fallschirm Jägers. Or does he want to go down and get his infantry reserves? That's a powerful eco boost for packs by the way what did dixon go with airborne so air support center and the airborne battle group for him though he hasn't picked any uh, abilities from his airborne battle group not even the 50 ca uh, the 30 cal drop or the um Pathfinders. No, he still got his scout squad. Oh, 
All right, flamethrower, good choice when you are fighting units that are in green cover, or just in general clumped up units. Mm -hmm. A fifth grenadier squad for Pax. What is this madman doing? We're really going for a fifth grenadier squad. I don't know what he's thinking here. Now he's go for the Luftwaffe company. What? With five grins on the field here. Dex ought to get a, uh, what's it called? A Greyhound to help deal with all the infantry. Or call in a, uh, a 30 cal from the, uh, from the sky. I don't think that they can defeat the uh, yeah the scout squad there. You have three command points at your dis Commandant, territory sector lost. He can now go for four Jägers, but then again, he has so much infantry already, and I feel like he needs some sort of AT to help him out. And here I'm thinking of Jägers with the Panzer Shrek. Then again, he has so much infantry. What was he thinking? Sure, they come with the Panzerfaust, but the, that's paper use, and the range is quite limited. So it's the damage when we compare it to the uh, the Panzer Shrek. I think the Panzerfaust does 100, 120 damage, whereas the Panzer Shrek does 160. Well, mine got two models there, and kitten with the cables. Yeah, a new mine is being laid. Point captured, three extra resources per minute. Pretty sweet, huh? In the long run, and... Oh, more mines have been planned today. Also notice how this thing now gonna die. <laughs> um... But yeah, as I was saying, now mines, when you're in replay mode, they actually appears to be cloaked. And hello, Greyhound now coming in and coilless launcher. Of course, of course, of course he had that thing. I forgot about it and um, he might want to call it in pretty soon because the Greyhound has arrived. It costs munitions to call this thing in. Munitions that Pax does not have. He's like a minute away from having enough munitions to uh, call in the recoilless launcher. And until then, he is kind of helpless versus this thing here. And now he's actually going for the Panzergrenadier company. Well, okay. But it's still gonna be um, like plus a minute before he can get a pack gun out. Oh, packs, packs, packs. What's it gonna be? In this position here with all, all this infantry here, if he had one less grenadier squad, sure, then he would be able to call in a, uh, or build a pack gun right now. Oh, and yeah, that was pretty quick. Very quick uh, that the 221 got rid of the scout squad. Uh, at least infantry reserves is now in, so Pax has got that eco bonus. And Dexon, he responds with more firepower.
Also, we haven't seen any um, planes from Dexon. Let's see, what do we got? What do we got? He's got the recon. Got the supply drop. He has the... Yeah, I think that would be all that he has. Now an AT gun, right? Dexon, he doesn't have grenades, but Pax doesn't know that. If he did, then she would sure to just drive up there. Get a flank on uh, these men. There we are. Pack coming on out. Has spent his munition on something since he cannot afford this thing. We are losing control of a sector. Oh yeah, he can also convert the two to one. Uh, you know, remove the heavy machine gun, get the Panzerbüsche installed. Right. Pack! Chop, chop, you men! Oh, hits the mine! As they were retreating, poor them. Could try to go for the medkits here if they're off cooldown. But they'll soon see battle. Right now, actually. And that's the retreat. Second pack coming in, the other pack gun. Still so far away from the Greyhound. One of our capture points is under attack. We have lost control of a victory point. What's the two to one doing? Well, I'm glad it's found its way down there. Anyway, let's check up this uh, place over here. Air supremacy. It's gonna reduce the cost. I think it does. Of the. Uh, See, air supremacy us i think that's the one that reduces the cost since it has the munition icon but then again the the name would lead me to believe it's the cooldown reduction since you can have more or your planes can get in the sky faster uh, vehicle in danger yeah it's in danger all right and oh air supply well, anyway, now I'm pretty sure that he's got the faster cooldown and the cheaper. <laughs> uh, couldn't they have used, say, a clock for the cooldown reduction? Hmm. Yeah, well, that's the thing about Kofri. We still have lots of uh, reused icons from previous games in in situations where it may not be uh, the best use of the reused assets. Spotted that pack gun and the Greyhound just slides away. Oh, packs! Oh man, so much for dodging that. <laughs> uh oh, Dexon, pour it on him. He, but he's also being poured on, thanks to the scout cast presence. Which. Oh, yes, it has the radio installed. Mm -hmm. And you know what that means? You have tuned into Berlin FM. 
playing the greatest hits during World War II. Double sortie for Dixon. Now there's no doubt about that, what that is. Which means that once this thing is in, he's got all his combat upgrades from um, the air support center. The uh, fourth upgrade that he has yet to get, that is the recon upgrade, which will reveal enemies rather than the what's it called the uh, thing where you get the icons in the fog of war panzer company mm, no we have no tank depot for dexon yet but also look at dexon oh he's swimming in munitions through the fire! Yep. The strongest steel shall be forged in the strongest fire. Too bad that these men are not made out of steel, so uh, please don't throw them in the fire. Boom, baby! <laughs> okay, 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 he's reversing out of there. Good for him. Good for him. <laughs> oh, someone's on the hunt here. We have lost the Aha! He went with some attack round. He probably had his ears out. But... That was a miss. Anyway. A little bit of random green cover here in the middle. Pax using his big brain here because it's actually a nice piece of cover. And there we are. Advanced air reconnaissance. Man, Dex needs just really spending it all on those upgrades. And just now Pax is getting the medical station. <laughs> his men appreciates that. By the way, we still see that that 3 plus that the Kettengrad managed to secure is still in effect. We have finished the research. Sadly, it does not apply to this point up here. That's a bit of a shame. Oh, uh, well. Oh, well. Now, Dexon, with all these um, upgrades, I would have expected to see more planes but he has been point. spending his munitions on double bars now he used to have 300 uh, munitions but now down to 200 at least the last time i looked and he's gone for a fourth rifleman squad probably pa he realized that pax is gone with so many grenadiers that he felt like he kind of need to better match him Boing. Yeah, also the side skirts coming on out for packs improves the side armor. Surprise on the Panzer IV. Upgrade complete. But sadly, though, it's not reflected here on this custom UI, which would have been nice. Oh, what a bad timing to hit a mine. But then again, is there ever a good time to hit a mine? Ah! <laughs> Dixon takes out double guns there. 80 guns are down. Panzer four is smoked. Pax has lost it all now. You're just running away there. Yep, losing armor. Any percent speed run. The infantry are trying to kill us. Now this is the part where I usually say, "Yeah, it's okay, Pax. He's got his uh, double AG guns. He's gonna be fine. He can rebuild the pack gun. They can hold." The problem is. Dexon, he's got a fully upgraded air support center and uh, 
Yeah, we saw what happened to the pack guns when those planes came in. So, Pax is only saving grace is that the heaviest armor he's facing is the Greyhound. Infantry will not be reinforced without your permission. Okay, Pax is saving up for a new new Panzer IV. Just need a, a little more of manpower. That would be 100 of them, ma'am. Hello. Smile for the camera, boys! More planes. Wow. It's the uh, resupply. Yeah, munitions, medicine. Please don't uh, confuse them. You want to take your medicine, not your munitions, if you're sick. Take now a territory. One, two, three, four, five, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Yep, all the grins are here. Bombs away! Well, they've been ordered to take their field first aid and yeah, they they need it. Oh, here's a shot. Oh. Slap. But the back gun didn't slap hard enough to take out the Greyhound. Anyway, tank depot coming up. New Panther 4 is on the field. Let's hope it survives longer than um, the first one. And Dixon, he can just, uh, yeah. Once this thing is done, he'll probably go for a good old Sherman. Yes, this engineers are coming down there. Okay, gotta get that prepared. Another recon. Smile for the camera again. Just smile and wave, boys. This plane is harmless. We are down to 200 points. Unlike the two other planes, they be nasty. All right. First heavy machine gun for packs. And Dexon is like. So what? That's just an extra target for his uh, strafing run. This here would be a nice little patch. He could strafe right here. Yeah, 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 yeah. Speaking of strafes, plane. I said plane. Ah, uh, there we go. No, wait, holy moly, this is a carpet bombing run. Oh, no. And here comes... Here comes a, a duck stream. Oh! Our anti tank gun is out of commission. The enemy have taken our territory. Fuck. Yep, <laughs> like I said. Team weapons when you're up against an air support center. Oh, that's uh, that's just feeding your opponent with prime targets for your uh, yeah, feeding your opponent prime targets for his uh, planes. And Dexon is going for Hellcats. Hmm. If you're asking me, should Pax rebuild his team weapons? I'm inclined to say no. Well, at most he can get a heavy machine gun. 
but then he would have to keep it um, at a place where it's just guarding a victory point Double sorty. Well, got a man. Got another man. Sector lost. Man, Dixon, he's just queuing up his uh, Hellcats, and then he'll unleash them all at once, catching packs of God here. By the time the uh, the Hellcats will be out, then packs must have been thinking all right i've stabilized and then that's when dexon hits him with the the double hillcats okay that actually went a lot smoother when it passed through that narrow spot there That's just recon, just recon boys. Now that is a surprise here for Pax. He can't get out of there fast enough. And yeah. He never stood a chance, did he? I bet Pax is regretting that he didn't get Hansa Grenadiers or Jaegers in instead of, of these guys. I mean, a Jaeger squad instead of one of these fives, Grins here would have helped him fight the tanks, the Greyhound. I mean, it would also help him in D8 and um, help him because he can't really go for the double AT guns due to all the planes that Dixon has available to him. As you can see here, he's got the Panzer Faust, but like I said, it's pay per use. Now under enemy control. Victory point is under enemy control. Bombs away! Yeah, the Hillcats limping back to base. Pax, his position is completely in shambles. He's gonna lose the pack gun here. Pax without any T team weapons. Well, okay, yeah, uh, well, he's still got that, but. Oh, this is. This is Dixon being merciless. Not only does Pax have a poor army composition to deal with what he's up against. He has us just been hammered down to 128 victory points. Oh. Yeah, he can't afford any of these uh, two planes because he's spending his munitions on the Panzer Faust. Oi, oi, oi. Stuka aircraft ready to loiter the target area. Well, at least Paxi can get a new tank soon. We are losing control of a sector. <laughs> For what it's worth. <laughs> uh, I 
All right, Pax. Let's see you pull off one last stand here once you get your new tank. Um, oh no, that's the bombs. Yeah, Dixon. He had a lot of VP still, uh, had a lot of munitions, still has a lot of munitions, and he's just got a bomb packs into submission here. Submit packs! Submit packs! Submit! Oh. Packs, please tap out! Packs! Tap out! <laughs> But Pax is stop tapping out! How many more bombs do you have to swallow, Pax, before you realize you're beaten? Pax, please end the suffering. You can't get out of Pats of 4, yes I know, but you're now going for a heavy machine gun instead. Oh no. A little grenade, but <laughs> that's like a drop in the ocean of what Pax needs in order to get back into this game here. And yep, plane. A new. Yeah, that's a new uh, bombing run. And it did. Well, not quite dead. More hurt. Oh my god. Yeah, place the bombs in the craters of the previous bombing runs. Save us from digging your grave. Yep, speaking of grave, here it is. Death approaches with an altitude of who knows what. you and Dixon with the bad manners uh, let's see what is Pax saying <laughs> Pax he was only using 5% of his power should have used 10% anyway that was the power of the airborne and there are many 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 bombing and strafing runs and carpet bombing run all right then if you like what you saw here leave a like if you dislike what you saw then leave a dislike but consider subscribing hey subscribe anyway see you later have a good one bye bye